much good. Thank you. I think.
Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Me escuchan. Yes. Permítame. Vamos a ver cómo podemos hacer para que escuchen la lluvia demasiado. Está lloviendo. Terrible. ¿A dónde? En La Paz. En La Paz, señores. Ahora, ¿escuchan la, 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 la lluvia? Yo no. no. Perfecto. No. Qué emoción. Ah, pues sí sirve el micrófono. Solo que se corta la señal. Ah, sí, hijo, pero está lloviendo. Ahí sí ya no podemos hacer nada. Ah. Ahí ni modo. <ríe> ok, veamos. Veamos acá, tenemos, vamos a pasar asistencia. Hay bastantes que me alegra mucho que estemos bastantes conectados a esta hora. Es muy importante que estemos acá. Y empezamos con G10. Aquí estamos. Ana Mercedes Amaya Corado. Ana Mercedes. Anita. Andrea Laureana Vázquez. Present. Thank you, Laureana. Carlos Mario Avendaño Peña. Carlos Mario. Carlos René Rivas López. Carlos René. Carmen René Calderón de Vázquez. Carmen René, Delmi Guadalupe Gómez Landa Verde. Present. Thank you. Edgar Gonzalo Chacón Alvarado. Present. Elsa Merino de Villeda. Present teacher. Thank you, Elsa. Eh, Francisco Nehemías Godínez Urquía. Present. Helen Dionele Barraza de Jerez. Helen. José Daniel Meneses Bolaños. Present teacher. Good. Kevin Vladimir Gutiérrez Castillo. Marlon Balmoris Dueñas Rodríguez. Marlon. Mauro Estela Orantes Fernández. Nelson Domínguez Díaz Salas. Present. Oscar Mauricio Montenegro. Montenegro. Present teacher. Reina Margarita Martínez de Castillo. Reina. Roxana Elizabeth Méndez Melara. Rubén de Jesús Campos Gómez. Susana Esmeralda Jiménez Osorio. Mario Alexander Arteaga Campos. Diana Carolina Guevara Ortiz. Present. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Now, before we start, thank you so much for being here again. Right? I would like to know if you have questions about the class that we had from yesterday. ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de la clase de ayer? No. Okay. So I think there is and there are is clear, right? There is and there are? Okay, perfect. Now, what about directions? Go straight, turn left, turn right. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, okay, perfect, perfect. Now, what we're gonna do here, give me a moment. I'm gonna write something here in the attendance. Okay, now we're going to continue here with our book, 
right? We have a lot of activities to do. We are going to also look at some safety instructions, right? But I would like you to work with a conversation first, right? Conversation first with me. I have two questions that I would like you to answer, right? Two questions that I would like you to answer. These are my questions for today. Look at it. Look at the uh, board, please. Question number one, Mauricio, can you read question number one? And question number two, Francisco Nehemias. Uh, Teacher, uh, sorry, ayer no estuve yo. No, I just want you to read. Read question number okay, okay. two. Okay. 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 Mauricio, uh, you start? Yes. Uh, one is, what, no, one are some ruler in your company. Okay, repeat with me. What are some rules in your company? What are some rule in your company. Very good, thank you. Nemias, continue. Okay, do you think it is important to follow rules, why? Okay, very good. So these are the two questions that we are going to use today, right? These are the two questions. First, we are going to talk, right? That's what we're going to do. We are going to talk. That's the purpose of the activity. Think about the rules. Do you have rules in your company? I have a lot of rules. Since a four gets me, oof, right? A lot of rules to follow, right? A lot of rules to follow. What are your rules? Don't eat in office. Okay, don't eat in the office. Very good. Thank you, Nehemias. Right? So you don't eat in your office? That's sad. Okay. Okay. What for me, one rule is uh, they tell me not to turn off the camera. Right? That's that's a rule that I have to follow. Right? What is another one? Uh, mm -hmm. Don't uh... Don't use your cellular personal in your work. Very good, very good. Don't use your cell phone, right? Cell phone. Or personal cell phone in your work. Very good. When in the past, like when I was young, not right now, when I was like 20 years old, 22, I worked in a call center, you know, you know, we need money here. So I did, I was not allowed to use the cell phone. They told me, Sylvia, mm -mm. gringos don't like cell phones in the workplace, so don't use your cell phone, right? That's a rule, right, that we always need to follow. Thank you, okay. So Nelson is helping me right now with the rules. What about the others? Nelson me está ayudando aquí con las reglas. ¿Los demás? Vamos a ver, pensemos en las reglas. Ya Nelson nos dio dos ejemplos que podemos seguir. Write the rules in the chat. Write the rules in the chat. Not to go out during working hours. Oh, not to go out during working hours, not to go out. Okay, perfect. What's an, a rule that you have, Elsa? Do you have rules in your company? Yes, uh, don't be late. Don't be late, of course. <laughs> Imagine if I start the class at 8.15, oh my God. We <laughs> are to be punctual, we, we have, okay. We are to be punctual. Right, punctual in the morning. Don't be late. Right? Perdón, teacher, el, el corrector me, me jugó okay. la mala pasada. It's okay, don't worry, it's okay. Right. It's okay. 
not relationships in my work with co-workers. That's a good rule. That's a good rule. If not, there is a big relajo when there are relationships. Do not be late. Uh -huh. Don't leave the office without authorization. Okay, tell me good. Don't leave the office without authorization. Good. But what if it's your, your time to go at 5 p.m.? Can you leave? Tell me, yes. If it's 5 p.m., can you go home? I don't understand. For example, I go out, I finish my class at 10, 10 p.m. Ah. Uh, so um, when it's uh, 10, 10, I say, oh, bye, right? <laughs> I don't ask I go, for permission. Uh, mm -hmm. I go out for, for 30. For 30? For 30. Okay. Yeah. Do you ask for authorization when you leave? No, at 4 30? No. Okay, good, good. Let's see. Do not eat during working hours. Don't gel in the office. Good. Do not eat in the office after eight. Okay. Do not take the company's merchandise. <laughs> That's a good rule. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, perfect. So we have different rules, right? Now, number two. Do you think it is important to have rules? Respect the partner. Mm -hmm. it is, is it important to have rules, Ruben? What do you think? And why? Is it for the... For the For the what? For the harmony. It is important. Okay, first Nelson and then Ruben. Nelson. For the harmony in peace in, your, in, in my place, the work. Okay. Now. I'm not listening to you right now. I cannot. So Nelson said for the harmony in his workplace, right? It's perfect. Very good. What about you, Ruben? am. <laughs> Okay, okay, let me go ahead and do something here. Okay. Okay. ¿Ustedes le entienden a Rubén? No. No, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes, because it's part to be responsible. Good, Diana. Very good. Okay, apague, 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 Rubén. Y alguien más tiene el micrófono encendido, veamos. Nelson, apague su micrófono. Okay, muchas gracias. To maintain order in the company. Very good, Delmi, excellent, Diana. Right. Okay. Okay. So what do you think about question number two, Laureana? Eh, teacher, estaba escribiendo. Oh, vaya, dice, yes, that the work environment is agradable. ¿Cómo puedo decir agradable? It's a nice working environment. Oh, nice. It's a nice working, working environment. Okay. Sometimes people say good, good working environment. Un ambiente agradable de trabajo. Right. Very good. 
So we have the different questions there, right? It is important not to lose your job. Good. Mauricio? It is important not to lose your job. Very good. I like that answer. Very good. Now, we're going to continue here, right? And all these things that you have, right? I want you to keep in mind the rules. Quédense con las reglas, okay? Ahí tengan las reglas en el chat. Las vamos a usar en un momento. Right. Now, I want you to look at this conversation, right? We have a conversation between Sandra and Mr. Sea. Can you see the conversation there? Yes? Okay, perfect. Yes. Perfect. This conversation is on page, page 25. Page 25. Now, I am going to read the conversation, okay? And then... Sandra is going to be Carmen and Jose Daniel is going to be Mr. Sea. Right? So, Daniel, pay attention. Yo, de teacher. Después de ellos, escojo a alguien más. Okay, they promote teacher. responsibility and education. Good. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Sea. Okay, I, I will read it first and then you, you practice, okay? Good morning, Mr. Sea. Ok, permítame, voy a apagar los micrófonos. Eh, ¿Tú fue por la llamada? Yeah. Ok. Vamos a apagar los micrófonos para que todos podamos escuchar. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company. So there is no excuse. And also it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours okay so we are using this let's go ahead and continue carmen and jose daniel okay good morning mr good morning mr sea continue uh, carmen ya su parte Tiene el micrófono apagado, Carmen. No le escuchamos nada. Excuse me, teacher. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Okay. Well, he, can, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company and it is not uh, allowed. I understand. He knew the value of our company, so there is no excuse. And, and also it is not to sleep in work hours. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. So what we're going to do here is check this. Happened. Right? Values. Values. Excuse. Excuse. Okay. And the new word. Allowed. 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 Very good. Okay. En el primero de Sandra, about lo que dice procedimientos, creo yo. Procedures. 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 Yes. Procedures. So we're going to check the pronunciation right now, okay? Let's check here one more time, right? Procedures. Procedures. Happens. Happen. Allowed. Allowed. Values. Values. Excuse. 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 Excuse, okay. So in this case, what we are doing, right, is that we are giving, they are talking about what? What are they doing here, Mr. Mr. Sea and Sandra? What are they doing? Okay. 
procedimientos del nuevo empleo? No. Read the conversation. Everyone, read the conversation and tell me what is happening there. The rules at the company. They are mentioning the rules of the company. Very good. There are some rules there. Tell me one rule. Tell me. Um, what is one rule? Uh, how is smoking inside the company? Okay, so smoking inside the company, is it good or bad? Bad. Okay, no smoking. Okay, very good. No smoking. What is another rule, uh, Nehemiah? Um, uh, no sleep in work hours. Okay, no sleep in work hours. Okay, good. And Diana, what is another rule? Um, don't use the cell phone in work hours. Don't use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, very good. Let's see here, right? Let's keep working. We already answered number one, right? It says here, what are some rules in Sanders company, right? We already know the three rules. There are three rules. Now, number two, Carlos René, can you please read number two? Okay, teacher. In this moment? Yes. Okay. What is the, pro what is the problem with the new employee? Okay, and number three, Helen Dionelli, can you please read? Are these really similar to your company? Oh. How? Okay. How? How? Okay, very good. What is the problem with the new employee? Is he following the rules or is he not following the rules? He not following the rules. He is not Be following the rules. Because he is smoking. He was smoking inside the company. He was smoking inside the company. So he is not following the rules. Okay, very good. Number two, Nelson. Are these, are these rules similar to your companies? Are these rules? Not smoking, not to sleep in working hours, not to use the cell phone. Are they similar to your company? That's it. Your microphone is off. Yes, all, all roles. Okay, they are similar. It's similar. Okay, very good. I think I think in in all companies. Okay, in most of the companies. Okay, yeah, because here, for example. Right now, I can use the cell phone to, to send WhatsApp messages to my boss. Right? When I have problems, right, I send him a WhatsApp message. Right? So it's not a rule. Right? But most of the companies, yes, they do have a rule for that. That is correct. Okay, perfect. Let me go ahead and show you here. Right? A, like some phrases. Give me a moment. Give me a moment here. Now that we have answered this conversation, I would like to have three more people working with this. Uh, Helen Dionelli, you're going to be Sandra. Reina Margarita, you are going to be Mr. Sea. Please. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the process with the new employee. Well, he cannot uh, continue with use. 
I see is because of what happened. Yes, he was going to he smoking in his inside the company and it, it is not hollow. I understand he <laughs> the value of our company. So there is no safety and also is not hollow. Okay. To sleep okay. in work or you are you are in it it is also not allowing to use the cell phone in work in work books. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I need you to listen to the conversation, Reina. Okay? Listen to the pronunciation and I need you to practice. Necesito que todos, no solo ella, todos, cuando estemos pronunciando las, las conversaciones, okay, tratemos de ir repitiendo. Yo sé que es un poco difícil ir repitiendo al mismo tiempo que alguien más. Okay? Pero es la única forma que vamos a practicar. Recuerden, solo tenemos dos horas diarias. No es tanto tiempo. Okay. Dos horas ustedes lo pueden ver como bastante, pero no lo es. Entonces, cuando estemos practicando pronunciación, de verdad practiquemos pronunciación. Aunque yo le diga solo a, a, a Nelson, Nelson repita, todos los demás deben de estar repitiendo, porque si no, solo Nelson va a aprender. ¿Ok? Aunque todos los demás sean el micrófono apagado. Ahora, por favor, voy a leer la parte de Mr. Sea, okay, y me va a ayudar usted, Margarita, a repetir. ¿Ok? Ok. Vamos a ver acá. Permítame, vamos a sacar el puntero. Ok. Well. well. He, okay, voy a leer. Voy a leer okay. y luego se repite conmigo. Ok. Well, he cannot continue with us. Well, he cannot continue with well use us with us with us with us okay us nosotros us right with us ahora vamos a la siguiente parte todos los demás deberían de estar repitiendo igual que la señorita margarita okay uh yes he was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed repeat yes he he was caught cut smoking in inside the company and he was not hollow. Okay. Inside. Repeat. Inside. 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 It is not allowed. It is not allowed. Very good. You are right. Repeat. You are right. You are right. It is also not allowed. It is also or um, it, it is, is also not allowed to use the cell phone. You to use the cell phone in work hours. In work hours. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Margarita, now we are going to continue with two more people. Margarita, choose one person. And who was the other person? ¿Quién era el otro? Margarita, escoja alguien más. ¿Quién más participó con Margarita? Me. Helen, ok. Helen, escoja alguien más también. Mm, Andrea. Ok, gracias. Um, no está Marlon. No. Este. Elsa. Elsa, ok. Andrea y Elsa. Andrea, you're Sandra. Elsa, you're Mr. Sea. Ok. 
Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. It is because of what happened? Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values, values of our company. So, the, so there is no excuse. And also it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, very good. Allowed, repeat. Allowed. Allowed, okay, allowed. allowed. Perfect. So we have this conversation here, right? And we are going to see the use of allowed, right? It's not allowed, right? That's the use. Uh, it is not allowed. When are we going to use it is not allowed, right? The use of this. Use. Oh my God. Use. It's not allowed. To express prohibitions. or rules that are being established, that were established. And you must follow. This is the use, okay? Vamos a usarlo cuando hay reglas, cuando hay prohibiciones. Allí es donde vamos a utilizar, it is not allowed. Okay? Do we understand that? ¿Entendemos esta parte? ¿Entendemos yes, esta parte? Yes. yes. yes okay. Teacher. Very good. I am going to show you a small exercise, okay? Very small exercise that we're going to do. Right? Let me put it here. Can you see my computer? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, very yes. good. So we have different places here, right? So according to the exercise, what we're going to do is that we are going to write the number, right? For example, is smoking not allowed? Where do you think smoking is not allowed? At the hospital. park, at the hospital, okay? So we're gonna put number one, right? Number one, according to the instructions, Right, according to the instructions, right, we're going to write in the space only, right, the correct number to match the question, right? So number one is there, right? We're not gonna write the information. Photography not allowed. We have park, library, Museum. hospital. Museum. Okay, museum, okay? Museum. Museum, perfect. Museum. Calculators museum. not allowed. Exam room. Exam room. Okay, very good. Large bags not allowed. Airplane. Airplane, okay. Airplane. Uh, feeding not allowed. Feeding. Zoo. Zoo, okay. Uh, talking not allowed. Clear. Library. 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 Very good. Dogs not allowed. Forest. In the park. forest? Huh? No, no, in the park. In the park, park. Which, which is weird because yeah. dogs, the park, you match, right? Campfires not allowed. Forest. 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 Okay. We put here, right, all this information, right, for each one of the numbers, right, and let's check. I think we have this correct, right? Ooh, look at the answers. 
Can you see the answers? Yes? Do you see the answers? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, perfect. Yes, teacher. Right? So everything is correct. Very good. Now, we're just going to check right now pronunciation of the places. Okay? I want you to pronounce this correctly. Everyone, please repeat. And Mr. Menezes is going to repeat with me. Okay? Park. Park. Library. Library. Hospital. Hospital. Exam room. Exam room. Exam room. Exam room. Oops, okay. What, what happened? What happened? What happened? Okay. Uh, museum. Museum. Airplane. 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 Zoo. Zoo. Forest. 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 Okay. Very good. Now, do you have any questions about this vocabulary? Thank you, Jose. You're welcome. Teacher. Yes? Teacher, in, in number five, feeding, mm, feeding is, no. No, for example, yes. I here I have, here I have pistachios, right? So I cannot give pistachios to the monkeys. So if I take the pistachios and I say, okay, eat monkey, eat. That's not allowed. Feeding. For example, I had a break before the class. I have five minutes break. And I fed my dog. He was hungry. So what is feed? It's called alimentar. Uh -huh. Alimentar, yes. Very good, right? You can also feed your children. I feed my husband too, right? <laughs> feed, alimentar, right? You feed people, you okay. feed animals, right? Very good question. Another question? Okay. Which it is campfires? Campfires is when you use wood to make a fire. It's something like this. Let me show you. Huh? No, similar, similar. When you go to the to the to the forest, sometimes you make a no, campfire. Uh -huh, exactly. Look at my fogata. That's uh -huh. a fogata. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> right? That would be a campfire. Right? What's another? Everything is clear? Did you copy the vocabulary? Si no van copiando el vocabulario nuevo, no lo van apuntando y poniendo el nombre y creen que se van a acordar de todo, es mentira, chicos. No se van a acordar de todo. Esa es mentira. No quieran decir, ah, sí, ya me voy a acordar. Uh -uh. It's not going to happen. Escriban el vocabulario nuevo. Okay. Teacher, una, una, quizás no, no, no has asociado, ¿ah? pero uh -huh. ayer se ve el video... Eh, sí, ayer quise ver el video de Antier y solo 30 minutos tenía. Hay dos. Dos tienen que haber. Okay, le voy a dar una, 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 una. ¿Cómo se dice? Un tip. Los videos siempre se suben en la noche o en la madrugada, depende si tengo sueño, ¿verdad? Eh, en, la, en la lista de, en la playlist de YouTube. Que a todos les cayó un, un link o una playlist de YouTube, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, ¿qué pasa? Nuestros administrativos, o sea, no tenemos solo un grupo de clases, sino que tenemos varios, y disculpen, no excusa, pero sí tenemos varios grupos, gracias a Dios. Entonces, a veces ellos lo que hacen es bajarlo de YouTube para subirlo a la plataforma. Entonces, a veces se toma tiempo o por estar con uno se les olvida el otro. Entonces, la mejor opción es irse de un solo a YouTube y pueden ahí ver el, 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 el video, es lo mismo. Lo que pasa es que no sé si se recuerdan que hubo un día que tuve que cambiarme de computador. Entonces, Correcto. en una computadora se grabaron 30 minutos y en otra se graba todo lo demás de la clase. Por eso es que está así. Pero ya, lo, ya les voy a decir a ellos que lo suban todo ahí. Porque en la playlist... Sí, hay, dos. ¿Ah? hay dos. Hay dos videos. Hay dos. Ah, sí. ah ok, perfecto. Parte uno y parte dos decía, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ah, ah pues sí, no sé, Daniel. 
Quizás dele para abajo y ahí tal vez está el video, porque sí, los dos se subieron. Pero si no, sin dado caso, digamos, mañana no encuentran el video, pueden a YouTube, a la, al, al link de la playlist que les mandaron y ahí lo van a ver. Ahí están todos. Ok, ahora tenemos acá, right, this. Do you have another question about this? Anything? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Large bags. ¿Qué es? Large bags. Uh, for example, when you go to the uh, when you go to the airport, sometimes they tell you to have a small bags or something with not more than 25 pounds. Right? So a bag is something that you carry with you. Do you have a bag? No. For example, this is the, oh, my goodness. This is a small bag. Look. Right? This is a small bag. Right? But sometimes you have large bags. Right? Any other questions? No? Okay, let me continue here. So we just established in the in the exercise, we take a look at prohibitions, right? Things that are not allowed in some places, right? Rules that we need to respect, rules that we have at the library, rules that we have at the museum, etc. Right? Those are different rules. Now, how do we use this? How do we use it's not allowed? right, when we are in our workplace, right? When we gave the rules at the beginning, right, what we did is that we just put not eat, not use, right? Those were the rules, those were the rules. Now, let me go ahead and show you this. We're going to use, it's not allowed, the structure, okay? This is the structure, the structure. La estructura, nos estamos refiriendo a cómo se debe escribir, okay? Cuando estamos escribiendo la estructura es gramática. Okay? Así se debe hacer. No porque yo me voy a inventar otra cosa, la voy a escribir de otra forma. No, así se debe hacer. Siempre que les ponga structure, es porque esa es la forma en la que se debe de escribir, okay? Ahora, ¿cuál es la estructura de esto? We're going to use here very basic structure, right? We're going to have, it's not allowed, it, it. We can say, it is not allowed, plus infinitive, plus complement, okay? Esta es mi estructura. It is not allowed plus infinitive plus complement, right? Now, when we have this, for example, right, in the, in the, in the exercise, we had here, right, uh, a smoking not allowed, and that was hospital, right? It is not allowed, it is not, allowed, allowed, right, to smoke, to smoke in the hospital, right? It is not allowed to smoke in the hospital. Now, in this case, I want you to pay attention to this, right? We are going to see different structures. It's not allowed, it's the prohibition, Right, we have it here. Then we are going to have the infinitive, right, to smoke, and then the complement, right, here, complement in the hospital, right? Usually is the complement usually is going to be a place, okay? Now, do we understand this? Yes. Yes, okay, yes. very good, very good. So we have this plus this plus this, right? Now you can tell me, but Sylvia, what is an infinitive? Very simple, 
right? Infinitives. Right, let's put it here. Note. An infinitive, its form, preposition to plus verb in base form, right? For example, to eat, to drink, to smoke, to swim, etc. To run, to run right? To run, etc. Right? All the verbs, but these are not verbs. These are infinitives. These are activities, right? These are activities, not verbs. Because in the sentence, it is not allowed, the verb is the verb to be and allow, right? De hecho, esta estructura, chicos, no es básica. Esta estructura, vamos a ser sinceros, esta estructura es eh, de intermedio, ¿ok? Porque acá estamos utilizando un passive voice, right? Entendemos este ejemplo. It is not allowed to smoke in the hospitals. Okay, los infinitivos, ¿cómo los formamos? Okay. ¿Cómo los formamos? Vamos a utilizar la preposición to más el verbo así como lo conocemos. Okay. Drink, smoke, eso lo vamos a hacer. Ahora, tenemos el ejercicio. Okay. ¿Se acuerdan del ejercicio que acabamos de hacer? Vamos a utilizar ese ejercicio para escribir ejemplos siguiendo esta estructura. ¿Ya copiaron esta información? Sí, copiaron. Okay. Vamos a ver acá. Se la voy a enviar al chat inmediatamente. Give me a moment. <coughs> Veamos. ¿Dónde están los hipotes? Aquí está. Ah, ya le envió Menezes. Usted me gana siempre, señor. Gracias. Ya le envió el señor Menezes. Ya. Él va a ser mi asistente personal. Entonces ya lo envió. <ríe> vale. Tenemos ese is not allowed. Right. Y ahora vamos a ver de nuevo, yo sé que ya lo copiaron, pero le voy a poner acá la estructura. Right? Esa sí se la voy a enviar en el chat. Snipping to. Ok. Ya ustedes ya tienen aquí sus respuestas. Ya todo está bien. Right? Ya hice yo el número uno. Right? It is not allowed to smoke in the hospital. Right. Now, I want you to write the example, write more examples with the others. Right. We have photography not allowed, museum. How would you write that, Avendaño? Photography not allowed, museum. Así es. Photography is not a verb. What is the verb? Avendaño? ¿Dónde está Avendaño? Ahí está abajo. Uh -huh. well, ¿Cómo decimos tomar fotos? How do you say tomar fotos in English? Pictures. Pictures? Take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture, ok. Very good. Take a picture. Entonces tenemos take a picture. It's the infinitive, right? So we, let's see here. Take a picture. Entonces, ¿cómo vamos a escribir lo demás? Cuéntenme. Ya sabemos que ese es el you, you, you are not allowed to take a picture in... You are not allowed to take a picture in museum. To take a picture in the museum. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. You are not allowed to take a picture in the museum. Very good. That's perfect. And this is going to be a rule, for example, that your boss is going to tell you, Jose, you are not allowed to eat in the cafeteria or to eat in the office. Teacher. Right? But, but, one moment. 
Here we are going to use it is not allowed to establish the rules of a place. Aquí vamos a utilizarlo como, eso está bien, esta oración que él nos dice está perfecta, pero esa la vamos a utilizar, por ejemplo, si Rubén es su jefe, él le va a decir, oh, Daniel, you are not allowed to drink in your desk. ¿Ok? Se lo está diciendo directamente, pero acá lo que queremos utilizar es establecer la regla. ¿Ok? Entonces, ¿Cómo lo cambiaríamos? It is not allowed. It is not allowed to take a picture in the museum. ¿Ok? Para hacerlo más general. ¿Se entiende, José Daniel? Sí. Sí, ok, perfecto. Next, Correcto. ¿Cuál es su pregunta? Sí. No, esa era. O sea, que yo le pregunté, eh, como vi you are, dije yo no cumple la regla de it is. Entonces, uh -huh. es to be not. Uh -huh. La regla, pero no, no, ya, ya entendí. Uh -huh. Ok, very good. Now, let's do the others. Hagamos los otros. Ya les, ya les envié en el chat los demás. Veamos. Tratemos de hacerlos. Right. O los hacemos en parejas. Teacher, yo no estoy en ese chat. No está en ese chat. No, la vez pasada me envió un, una invitación y no me salía que no era válida. Segura. Sí. Espéreme. I'm sorry, my puppy is just crazy today. I don't know why. Permítame, vamos a ver si enviamos otra invitación. Y ahorita mismo la va a ver, ¿ok? Si entra o no entra. Vaya, lo voy a enviar aquí al chat de Zoom. Por favor, revise Diana. Si puede entrar. Debería darle access. Oscar Mauricio, it is not allowed to take photos in the palace. ¿Cuál palace? It is not allowed to drink alcohol Thank at you, work. Teacher. You're uh, welcome. Very good. Okay, perfect. Ahora, utilicemos Delmi y Oscar, la imagen que les mandé en el chat de los lugares que ya vimos, de los que ya conocemos el vocabulario. Estos dos ejemplos, to take a picture y smoke, vienen de allá. ¿Ok? Usemos lo mismo. Ok. ¿Pudo, Diana? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, thank you. You're welcome. Ok. I think we're going to work in pairs. Right. Vamos a trabajar en pareja para que sea más rápido. Hacia las nueve en punto regresamos acá para la asistencia. Vamos a tener solo siete minutos porque no les quedan muchas preguntas. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Please click on yes. Ahí, vamos, vamos, vamos. Vamos rapidito. No le voy a ayudar, solo voy a andar escuchando. No me van a preguntar. <risa> Vamos. Estela and Kevin, can you please join the groups? Por favor, se pueden unir a los grupos. Estela and Kevin. 
Iya. It is not allowed to use calculators. Recuérdense que yo creo que ya pueden compartir pantalla, por si quieren compartir pantalla, ya está la opción. Creo. Ok, gracias. Mm. This meeting is being recorded. Large files. Dígame. En la número cuatro, eh, aunque allí no importa si está en plural o, o singular, no cambia, ¿verdad? Porque yo digo para to use, to, to bring, to, el verbo no cambia. No, el, el, el infinitivo no cambia. El infinitivo siempre no. va a ser así. Uh -huh. Okay. Muy buena pregunta. Okay. Number five. Allí le puse to give. Not feeling. Porque no puede ser to eat. To eat feeling, ¿verdad? Porque no. sería. To feed. Recuerda que, por ejemplo, calculators. Right. Eh, dice calculators are not allowed. Pero calculators no es un verbo. Entonces, use. Usted, no. usted utiliza use. Y por ejemplo, large bags no es un verbo, es un noun. Yes. Pueden compartir la imagen si la tienen en computadora para que todos la vean y vayan trabajando más rápido. Puede ser give, mi eh, teacher. Bring, bring, traer. En el number five. Give, give feeding. Uh, to feed. To feed. Recuérdense. To feed. Oh, to feed. Oh, perdón. To feed. Así. To feed. Okay. Dicho okay. se podría. Is is it is not allowed to give feeding? No. To give food. No. Ah. To give food. Feeding es alimentar. Okay. Igual que to feed es alimentar también. To give food. Uh -huh. Aquí en, en el chat ya les puse el infinitivo de feeding. To feed. La segunda es la primera, me equivoqué. Uh -huh. pa, 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 pa. Uy, nos quedan dos minutos. Voy a otro equipo, chicas. Bueno. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're Entonces sería to feed. Y en el salón. Y en el salón. Uh -huh. Las seis. Is not talking. To talk sería, ¿verdad? It is not. To talk. To talk. No, it is not talk. Es que, como dijo tu feed. Aquí también dice hablando. Pero eh, it is not talk to. En el segundo va el to. Ah. Ahí mira la estructura. Sí, sí. To the hospital. ¿De qué es este? Quiero ver el 6C, sí, sí, ¿verdad? Sí. To the library. library. Ok. Mm -hmm. En las siete. Pero en las cinco yo tengo duda cómo queda. It is not film. Y de su. O sea, no se permite alimentar en el zoológico. Es lo que ella nos puso en el chat. Bueno. Eh, buenas noches. Hola, Hola reina. Eh, yo le puse it, it, it is not allowed to give food to the animal in the solo. 
in the zoo. Okay. Está bien. It is not allowed to feed eh, to feed for to the animal in the zoo. In the zoo. O sea, no se permite dar alimento a los animales en el zoológico. Okay. ¿Y, los, ¿Y los siete? ¿Y se me pasó? Se lo vieron en el cuadrito en la parte que ella escribió Ajá. con rojo puso to eat, to drink, to smoke. ¿Eh? Ahí sí. queda ya normal. Es que... Smoke. Pero, sí, pero to smoke sería. Ajá, por eso sería to smoke. Sí, y en la 4. Sí, en el ING. Porque en la 4 te está diciendo. Es que ahí dice que el afirmativo, en lo que ella escribió ahí en rojito, dice tú más ver en base for, en su base formal. O sea, Forma, ajá. Ajá, en su base. To eat, to drink. No puede. No va con ING. En su base. Sí, está en. Por eso. Ajá, sería así. ¿Y la, en cuál va? En la cuatro. No sé. Dice. Yes. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice noviazgo? Relationship. Ok. Relationship. Relationship. Y el otro que este. Ay. Ah, pues sí. Esa me faltaba. Y dice no. You finished, guys? Yes? Eh, yes. Okay. Very good. So I'm just going to check on some of your. Classmates, one more group, and then we continue, okay? Yeah, it is not allowed. It is not uh, allowed. Is it sería de los perros? Pasear perro. To walk. It is not allowed pasear. Sería un ver el verbo, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, in the park. Take. Take a walk. Take. Take no es tomar. Take is yes. Take a walk. Pa Take a walk is correct. ¿Pero qué quieren decir? Pasear al perro. Walk my dog. Walk my walk. dog. Walk. Okay. 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 To, walk. Allowed to walk. Walk de caminar. Uh -huh. Teacher. ¿Ah? Walk de caminar. Yes. Ah, ok. Walk in the park. Walk. The dogs in the park. Luego sigue. Con fire. Con fire. It is not allowed. Not allowed. To. Uh, Prender, prender. O encender. Encender, encender. sería lo más apropiado. Yes. Encender. You can use different uh, options for the verb, right? To light, 
right? To light, it's uh, to light a campfire, right? A moment. Right, to, to light, light a campfire. Light. Yes, light, 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 light the electricity. Light uh -huh. To light, let me put the, 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 the luz. Uh -huh, exactly. Turn, turn, turn no, the to light. turn, no, to light. Solamente to light. Sí. Okay. Turn on es diferente. Okay. Es de encender la luz. Turn on es de apretar, ¿verdad? Es de pinchar un botón. Entonces sería. Ajá, turn on es como de apretar el botoncito así. Pero light es de encender con fuego. Oh, okay. okay. To light campfire. To light camp. Camp. Where? Come fire in the forest. In the forest. And so finish. <laughs> finish. Okay. Let's go. I think we should go. Vámonos todos ya porque ya es la hora. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's some room. This meeting is being recorded. Hi. Hi, teacher. Okay, we're going to listen to everyone here. Ok, esperemos a los demás. Creo que tienen un par de segunditos, minutitos más. Ok. Okay, let's share the answers that you have, okay? I am going to show here the picture. No, let's go ahead and write here the answers on this wall. <gasps> what are the others? Se perdió? No, aquí está. Okay. I sure. think we're going to share them in the chat. Yes? ¿Me escucho? Yes. Okay. So what is your question? What is your question? teacher. Alista. Gracias. Ok, veamos. Ana Mercedes Amaya de Corado. Present. Andrea Laureana Vázquez Martínez. Present. Carlos Mario Vendaño Peña. Carlos Mario. Carlos René Rivas López. Present. Carmen René Calderón de Vázquez. Present. Eh, Delmi Guadalupe Gómez Landa Verde. Present. Edgar Gonzalo Chacón Alvarado. Ya no nos toca hacer el examen. Edgar Gonzalo Chacón Alvarado. Elsa Merino de Villeda. Present, teacher. Francisco Nehemías Godínez Surquía. Present. Helen Dionel Barraza de Jerez. Present. José Daniel Meneses Bolaños. Present, teacher. Kevin Vladimir Gutiérrez. Present, teacher. Ok. Eh, let's see. Marlo, Marlon Barmoris Dueñas Rodríguez. Show, Maura Estela Orantes Fernández. Present. Nelson Domínguez Díaz Alas. Present. Oscar Mauricio Montenegro. Present. Reina Margarita Martínez de Castillo. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Méndez Melara. Present. Rubén de Jesús Campos Gómez. Presente, Tizan. Susana Esmeralda Jiménez Osorio. Me están comiendo. Susana, apaguen sus micrófonos si no estamos participando, por favor. 
Susana Esmeralda. María Alexander Artiaga Campos. Diana Carolina Guevara Ortiz. Present. Claudia Carolina Ventura Canales. Okay. Now let's see here. No me funciona el micrófono de las bocinas. No sé, pero se oía, fíjese. Bien raro. Yo lo oí. Carlos Mario. Ahorita eso es lo que apague. Veamos. You have different examples, right? I need to hear the first example, Elsa Merina. Give us one example and uh, your group can type it in the chat. Okay, teacher. Uh, number three. Uh, it is not allowed to use calculator in the exam room. Okay, it is not allowed to use calculators in the exam room. Very good. Type it in the chat, please. Tell me, what do you have? Another example. Okay, it is not allowed to use large bags in a airplane. Okay, to use large bags in the airplane. In the airplane, ok. Put it in the chat, póngalo en el chat. ¿Alguien tiene algo distinto de lo que ya todos han mencionado? Todos tienen exactamente lo mismo. No. Ok, it, ¿qué tiene usted, Carmen? It is not allowed to bring large bag in the airplane. To bring, ok, very good. Yo sería mejor to bring porque usted la lleva, ok. To bring, llevar. Okay, it is not allowed to bring. Muy bien. Se le quita la ING. ¿Mm? No, porque el verbo bring ya, está, ya es así. Bring. No se, no se quita ING porque ya el verbo en su forma base es B-R-I-N-G. Bring. Lo, lo, lo no, es, no, no está bien dicho, dicho. ¿El qué? Load, de cargar. Load. It is not allowed to load. No, ahí vamos a utilizar carry. Porque load yeah. se ocupa eh, prácticamente con máquinas. Entonces usted carry, cargar, oh, okay. carry. Okay. I carry my books. Carry. Carry. Ok, esperémonos un momento, okay. se la estamos compartiendo acá. Eh, Rubén, continúe, denos otro ejemplo. Okay. It is not allowed to talk in the library. It is not allowed to talk in the library. Repeat, library. Library. Okay, library. Very good. Tell me another example, Ana Mercedes. Okay, number... It is not allowed. Acá tengo una si sería to work o take a walk on the park. No? Okay. It is not allowed. Take a walk dog, dogs on the park. Okay. Muy bien. Muy bien. Very good. How would you write it, Nehemias? Ellos le van a ayudar para terminar esa oración. Ese ejemplo. It is not allowed. Hello. Hello. Uh, number seven. Uh, eh, la de los eight. perritos. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. It is not allowed to. No. Allowed to. It is not allowed What? to. Okay. Carlos René, lea el ejemplo. Oh, okay. It is not allowed yeah. to walk the dogs in the park. It is not allowed to walk the dogs in the park. Okay. It is not allowed to walk the dogs in the park. Okay. También, eh, también podría ser, eh, it is not allowed to cheer the Aguilas Club in the class, the English. Ah. <laughs> Right. 
<laughs> no, I don't, I don't make that rule. <laughs> <laughs> Rubén. <laughs> Usted lo está inventando. <laughs> no le digo. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good example. <laughs> Now, the last one, the last one. Let's see, Laureana. It is not allowed to feed animals in the soup. It is not allowed to feed animals in the soup. Animals in the soup. Very good. Miss Margarita put another example. It's not allowed to bring food on the plane. Okay, it's not allowed to walk with dogs in the park to feed animals in the soup. Very good. Easy, right? This, this structure is very, very easy. So let me put here something, right? So we can see the examples from the book, right? Let me show you. Can you see the book? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. Yes. Now, here we have six examples. I need six people to help me. So please pay attention. Uh, Carmen, can you please read the number one? Okay, teacher. It is not allowed to smoke inside the facility. Facilities. 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 Very good. Nehemiah. It is not allowed to take tools home. Very good. Thank you. Continue there, Roxana. Roxana? Hello, teacher. Can you please read the example? Well, the top. <laughs> El que está marcado, Roxana. Uh, it is not allowed to drink alcohol. Beverages. 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 Okay, let's continue with Dominguez. It is not allowed to use cell phone. Okay, good. Let's see here. Oscar Mauricio. He's is he is not allowed, allowed to serve in working hours. Okay, to? To sleep in working hours. Hours, repeat. Hours, okay. hours. Thank you, Estela. Hello, teacher. Read the example, please. Ah. It is not allowed to drink alcoholic beverages. No, this is the example. Ah, it is not allowed to run in any area of the company. In any area of the company. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, do you have a question about not allowed in this moment? No. No, is it clear? What is the yes. mean tools in, in Spanish, teacher? For example, yeah, go ahead, yeah. That is. Me escuché, compañero. Herramienta. Ah, herramienta. Beverage, ¿qué significa? This is my beverage. That's my beverage. Bebedores. No. This, this is my beverage. Exactly. Bebida. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So we're going to continue working here, right? Give me a moment. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Uh -huh. Another question. Um, uh, cell phone. Se, se, cuando es plural se separa o puede ir unido y, y separado cell phone no, it is always together ah, es que, que por el ejemplo 
pensé que era que sin plural se separaba la palabra. Mm -mm. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. Okay. Very good. Now we're gonna see right now some vocabulary because I want you to see some vocabulary related to security and safe in your house. All right. We're gonna do another exercise here with allowed. You already have some rules in your workplace, so you're fine with that. But we're gonna go back a little bit, okay? I want you to go to this, right? Yesterday we were talking about Rex facilities. Do you remember this? Do you remember this? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Now yes. we're gonna work today, right? And we're going to see safety instructions that we have we're gonna make we're gonna make a mixture of imperatives and new vocabulary that we're gonna that we're going to use okay now we have here right a group of visitors is coming to rex facilities right explain to them the set of basic rules and safety instructions for visitors in a courteous way right now we have here the safety instructions. Can you help me out and read with me? Right, uh, I need two people. Right, Lauriana, please help me. And Ruben, okay. Lauriana, wear a helmet all the time. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. Walk between the yellow lines. Don't touch any machine. Don't touch any machine. Thank you. Ruben, wear the earplugs all the time. Wear the earplugs all the time. Wear industrial boots. Wear industrial boots. Don't get too close to red areas. Don't get close to red areas. Areas areas okay very good now do you understand those safety rules do you have safety rules in your workplace do you have safety rules in the workplace no Not here. what no no you don't have safety rules you just go there and that's it that's cool. <laughs> okay, that's cool that you just go in there and that's it. Right, what about the others? No rules? For safety in the workplace? Yes, in my company, mm -hmm. these all rules. Okay, what are the are rules in your company? All. All, of, all of them. Okay, all, the all of them. Very good, right? Very good. So we have all of the rules. Just Mr. here, uh, Mr. Nelson, that you should use, right? All of them, right? Now, what we can do here is that we can use it as an imperative, right? When we have the safety at work, right? Just give me one moment here. We're going to use all of these uh, safety things, right? So what are we going to say? You are allowed, right? In this case, we are going to use directly the thing that you have to do, right? For example, here, it says wear a helmet all the time, right? We can use basic rules to make this information. First, we can do it with imperatives, right? But we can also use it like this. You are allowed. You are allowed. Sorry, let me put it in red. You are allowed to wear a helmet all the time. Because you are talking directly to them. Right. In this case, you are having a conversation. Aquí ya podemos utilizar you are. Ya no vamos a utilizar it is porque ya le estamos diciendo a una persona. Aquí llegaron unos visitantes, 
y ustedes le tienen que decir a ellos las instrucciones de seguridad. ¿Ok? Ustedes ya conocen las reglas. It is not allowed to wear a helmet. Entonces, le vamos a decir, you are allowed to wear a helmet all the time. Right? Otra forma que lo podríamos decir, right, es con un modal que fueron los que vieron el, el, en el principiante 3 o 4, si no me equivoco. You must wear, you must wear a helmet all the time. You must wear a helmet all the time. Right? Ese ya tiene más fuerza. Ok. Cuando usted utiliza must, ya tiene más fuerza lo que está diciendo. Ok. Porque must nos dice que es uh, something that is mandatory. Ya es una obligación de verdad. No solamente una prohibición. A usted se lo pueden prohibir, pero después dice, nah, whatever. No me importa. Right? Pero si utiliza must wear, ya usted sabe que es algo prohibido. Right? ¿Entendemos este ejemplo? Yes, teacher. Una consulta. En ese caso ya no llevaría tú. To, to wear. Eh, Must wear, no, en este caso es must wear. Exacto, muy buena pregunta, Diana. Muy buena pregunta. Ahí vamos a utilizar must wear, sin el to. Okay. ¿Entienden estos dos ejemplos? Yes. Ok. ¿Cómo haríamos el segundo? Dice, walk between the yellow lines. You are allowed walking between the yellow lines. Okay. You, you are, are. Okay. You are allowed to walk. To allow walk. To walk. To walk. Between. The yellow lines. The yellow lines. Very good. You are allowed to walk between the yellow lines. Y si lo quiero hacer con most, ¿cómo sería? You must walk. You must, you must walk. Right? You Así. must. Solo cambiamos el are allowed to por must. Right? You must walk. Between the yellow lines, right? You must walk between the yellow lines. Hagamos los demás. A ver qué obtiene. Teacher, la que sigue, que es don't touch, se pusiera you are not allowed. Yes, that's what you have to put. You are not allowed to touch any machine. Okay. Mm -hmm. And with must, you must not touch any machine.
teacher, mm -hmm. I don't see the the last uh, the last sentences. Ahora? Yes, thank you. Gracias. Okay, Carmen, can you dictate number three to me, please? You are not allowed to touch any machine. Okay, who has number four? Who has number four? You are allowed mm -hmm. to wear the air, ¿cómo se dice? Air plugs? The ear plugs. Ear plugs. Ear. Mira. Ear. Ear, ear plugs. Plugs. Mm -hmm. All the time. You are allowed to use the ear plugs all the time. Okay, perfect. And number five. Who has number five? She she is allowed to use industrial bow, but she is allowed to use to use. What is the verb? Use or wear? Uh, wear wear. To wear to wear industrial industrial boots repeat boots boots very good and do we have another one i think we have another one eh, the number six aquí me hizo falta una línea mire ver no se fijaron señores number six okay aren't allowed to get close to red or yes okay can you repeat diana sorry you you aren't allowed to get close to red areas. To red areas. Repeat. Areas. Areas. Usted está diciendo areas. No. Areas. Eh. Areas. Look at my mind. Areas. Areas. There you are. Very good. Okay, if you pay attention to your classmates, they did very good because we have other examples. Here, she is allowed. Lauriana is allowed to wear industrial boots in her company, right? She is allowed. Francisco and Diana aren't allowed to get close to the red areas. Margarita is allowed to use the earplugs all the time. Right? Oh, to wear the earplugs? Or to use the, oh, to wear. Y no, no me dicen ustedes aquí que nos equivocamos. Díganme. Díganme. Cuando nos equivoquemos, díganme. To wear the earplugs all the time. Right? ¿Entendemos aquí el uso de allow también para personas? Para cuando estamos hablando directamente con alguien. O estamos hablando de sí. alguien. Y en el número 6, close is closed. Close, con la D o sin la D? Así. Me he puesto sin. Ok, close. ¿Así? ¿Está bien? ¿Es this correct? ¿O así? Yo decía que sin. ¿Cómo está sin en, el, en, el, en el ejercicio? Sin, sin la D. Y el D. Close. Yes. Get close. Que ya me dejó pensando. Vamos a ver. Aquí todo se puede resolver, niña. 
All right, get close. Get close, uh -huh. sin la de, sin la de. Let's go ahead and choose here. Dun, dun, dun. Get close. Okay. Now we have these examples. Any questions that you have right now? Anything that you would like to ask? No questions? Puede repetir, teacher, cómo queda con most cuando es negativo. Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. Here we can put you must not you must not touch any machine. Must not. Like this. Right? That would be the negative. Right? I am lleva allowed. No, it doesn't have allowed because it's another version. Es otra forma de decirlo. Now, we're going to make questions, okay? The questions with allowed, we're gonna make the questions like if we are in a conversation, okay? We're gonna make questions right now with me, right? And then we're gonna go ahead and ask questions with your classmates, okay? I need you to help me. Right, and did you copy these answers? ¿Ya copiaron? Okay. Very good. We're going to play a small game. This is going to be speaking only. It's speaking only. Can you see my computer? Yes. Okay, perfect, that's great. So in the computer, we have like a small game, right? With this small game, what we're gonna do is that we are going to ask questions to people, right? That they are going to tell us if we are allowed or not. Most of these are related to the school, okay? But this is going to help us to practice, okay? La mayoría está como para, para, uh, la escuela, como que estuviéramos ya en, 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 en las facilidades, allá en inglés corporativo. So, let me ask you here and listen to my questions, right? Give me a number, Laureana, from one to 20. 15. 15. Three, that would be five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 15, name one thing you are allowed to do in your workplace. Name one thing that you are allowed to do in your workplace. Y si yo le quiero decir no puedo hacerlo para referirme a mí, I, I am not. Usar el, uh, uh -huh. I am not allowed to use the cell phone. Okay, perfect. But now tell me one thing that you are allowed to use or uh, you are allowed to do, things that you can do. For example, in my workplace, I am allowed to use my cell phone for emergencies, of course, right? I am allowed to use my cell phone. What about you? I am a talk with my partner, partners. I am allowed. I am allowed to talk with to, my okay. to talk with my partner. To talk with my partners. Okay, muy bien. Very good, eh, Laureana. Very, very good. Recordémonos. El, lo único que va a cambiar acá es el iris. Okay, iris es para establecer las reglas. Ya cuando utilizamos you are, she is, they are, ya es cuando estamos hablando directamente con una persona. Okay, Meneses, no se duerma. Okay, Meneses, give me a number from one to 15. Um, 10. 10, okay. Are you allowed to be on time for the class? To be on time? Yes. 
Yes. Que... Yes, uh, I am allowed. I am allowed? To, uh, yes, I am allowed to be on time. On for time. Class. Very good. Thank you so much. Ana Mercedes, give me a number from 1 to 20. Number five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Are you allowed to help your friends with their homework? Yes, I am allowed to help my friends. Mm -hmm. My friends with? With their homework. With their homework, very good. So, do you understand what we're doing right now? ¿Se entiende qué es lo que van a hacer? ¿Sí? Ok. Ya. Vamos a ver una cosa aquí. Ahora que estamos aquí. Creo que el señor Meneses ya lo envió. No lo he enviado, señor Meneses, esta parte. Si no, ya lo enviamos. Ahorita. Ok. Mucho que... A mí que esté bien rápido, fíjense. Okay, very good. <laughs> now, with this, we are going to go to work in groups. Vamos a ir a trabajar en equipos. Practiquen, okay? Pues no, no tienen que hacerlo así como enumerado. Pueden decir, okay, yo hago la primera, tú la segunda, y el siguiente, la tercera. Okay? La cosa es ir practicando la forma que estamos trabajando. ¿Se entiende que vamos a hacer los, los últimos minutos de la clase? Solo speaking, no van a ir a escribir nada. Ya escribimos lo suficiente. Quiero que practiquen pronunciación. Y la estructura, definitivamente. Ok. ¿Alguien tiene una, alguna pregunta de lo que vamos a ir a hacer? ¿No? Teacher, yo no mucho la entendí. Vamos a utilizar la imagen que envió el señor Meneses en el chat. La última imagen que le envió. La vamos a utilizar, Roxana, para hacernos preguntas los unos con los otros. Solamente vamos a hacer práctica oral de la estructura gramatical que hemos visto hoy. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, perfecto. Vamos a ver acá. Vamos a trabajar con personas distintas a las que ya trabajamos. Pero creo que... Vamos a hacer un grupo más grande. Ok, perfecto. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Solo tenemos unos pocos minutos, entonces aprovechémoslo para practicar. Vamos, Nehemías. Vamos, Estela. Entonces, se van a hacer, van a tomar un número de esos y vamos a, una de esas vamos a preguntarle a, a cada uno de nosotros y así le vamos a dar respuesta utilizando la estructura. Pero entre nosotros, bro. Sí. Solo entre nosotros. Ya, eh, ya vio el chat, ahí está. Ah, solo que yo me voy a meter el chat, pero solo me van a escuchar la voz, no me van a ver porque me tengo que salir para meterme. No. ¿Está bien? Ok. Igual, yo así estoy, <ríe> por eso no me veo. Ahorita. Pueden poner la imagen aquí en la pantalla para que la vean. Ah. Sí, claro. Puede compartirla. ¿Alguno de ustedes está en computadora o tablet? No. En el celular. En el celular. Y ahí tiene la imagen. Sí, chica, sí. Yo ahorita. 
Okay. Kevin, Kevin va a compartir la imagen, dice. Ok. Ah, ok. Muchas gracias, ver. Kevin. Sí, bueno. perfectamente. Y si le da vuelta al teléfono, lo ha, se va a ver mejor. Dale vuelta a su teléfono. Sí. Ajá, ahí está. ¿Sí? Mira. Yes. Bueno. Wonderful. Dinner. Recuerden que pueden compartir la imagen. ¿Ok? Con sus compañeros para que les salga más fácil. Si alguien está en computadora, comparta la imagen. Sale mejor. Se veía bien borroso. ¿Cómo? Se veía bien borroso, por eso mejor decidimos verla en el chat cada quien. Ah, ok. Como se le saca mejor. Um, This meeting is being recorded. Estela, are you allowed to wear, to wear your pijamas to school? Pijamas to school. Aquí está. Ok. Do you wear your pijamas to school? Yes, uh -huh. I am allowed to, to wear pink pijamas at school. <laughs> Fue a la escuela en pijamas. Sí, cuando nos tocaba, me acuerdo, como era de disfraz o no sé qué. Ah. De todo me disfrazé. Eh, vamos a ver. Eh, Andrea, are you, are you allowed to speak in the school? Yes, I allow. Uh, to speak in the school. ¿Qué es speak? A ver, speak, yo escuché cómo habla. Ah, ah, speak es eso. No, no, yo no. había escuchado cómo hablar. Quiero no sé. Eso. Me dijo que sí. Es que escuché ¿Qué? speak. A escupir. Ah, pues no. <risa> <risa> no, I, no, I don't allow. I know, I, I, así es verdad, I'm not allowed. No, I'm not, not allowed. No, I'm not allowed to speak in my, in, in, in my school. Ya voy a anotar eso. Sí, es raro. Qué palabra es tan rara. Ya va. Escupido. Vaya, quiero ver. Esta, are you allowed to eat breakfast? Yes, I am allowed to eat cena. Ajá, en la cena. Le pregunta que si tiene permitido comerse todo el pan en la cena. Uh, are you allowed to eat all the bread at dinner? Yes, I Yes, I... Ay, es que esa, esa me cuesta pronunciarlo. Hello. Hello. Yes. Así ve. Yes. Allow. Olvídese del ED prácticamente. Allow. Uh -huh. Allow. 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 Yes. Allow. Así. I am allow. Yes, I am allow. Uh -huh. Así, como, así okay. como lo pronuncio está perfecto. Ok. Y la otra es. Are you allow? To watch TV after midnight? Mm, are you allowed to watch TV, TV after, after midnight? Midnight. Quiero ver, sería. No, I am not allowed to watch TV after midnight. 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 I need uh, sleep. Diana, Diana, are you allowed to wear your pajamas to, to work? No, I am not allowed to pajamas to work. <laughs> okay. Mm, sería, 
Jose, um, are you allowed to fight? To fight in mm -hmm. your work? Fight, fight, to fight. Fight, como de pelea. No. <laughs> no, no, I am not. No, I am allowed. You are no, not I am not allowed to, to fight in, in work, in my work. Okay. In my uh, Mercy, mm -hmm. uh, are you allowed to smile at what? your friend? Are you allowed to smile at your friends? Es la... Enviar este... No, sonreírle. No. Sonreírle a sus amigos. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes, I am allowed to smile, my friends. <laughs> si puedo sonreírle a mis amigos. Ajá, algo así es. Ah, sí, está okay. permitido. Ajá. Yes. Yes, yes. Sería yes, I am allowed to smile. Ajá. Uh -huh. My friends. Yes. Ok, Dianita, creo que uh -huh. se me hizo. Espera. Me perdí, no te le iba a preguntar. Ah, are you allowed to listen to music in, in your work? No, I am not allowed to listen to music in my work. In working hours. Me, aquí, así creo que se dice. In work hours. Uh -huh. En horas laborales. En horas laborales. Uh -huh. <coughs> bueno, otra quiero ver. Sip at your desk. Quiero ver. José. Are you allowed to sit at your desk? To sit at your desk. Uh, Sentarse, ¿verdad? Yes, uh -huh. yes. Yes, I am, yes, I am allowed to sit at my desk. Desk, ¿qué es el escritorio? Sí. Sí, bueno. Ok. Eh, José. Mm, ella no mucho lo entiendo. Eh, are you allowed to shut up shut at your teachers? <laughs> Por ejemplo, no. Shut up is a shh. Callar. Ah. Callar. Que usted me diga a mí, callar. Ah. Are you allowed to do that? No, I'm not. No, I'm not allowed. You're not allowed. Ok. And... Mercy, are you allowed to chew gum in class? Jum. Gum. Chum. Como masticar Chum. goma, creo. Miam, 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 miam. Gum. Ah. In class? Eh, no, I am not allowed to. ¿Cómo era? Chew. Chew. Chew, Chew gum. Que no la encontré en el cuadro. Es la primera. Eh, bueno, la segunda. Eh, ah, ya la encontré. Uh -huh. uh, no, I am not allowed to go in my class. To shoot. To shoot. To shoot. Uh -huh. Ok, vámonos ya porque ya son las 10. Vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. Okay. Okay.
Okay, hello. Hello, teacher. Teacher, este, si es de que yo estaba haciendo el, las últimas preguntas del, del intermedio. Y este. ¿De cuál no intermedio las, y cuáles preguntas? O sea, las preguntas de, 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 que se tienen que hacer ya en el intermedio de, 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 ¿cómo se llama? del curso. ¿En la plataforma? Sí. ¿La sección 2? Correcto. Ajá, ¿qué pasa? Pero, este, sacan las... Bueno, hay unas preguntas que son las mismas que ya hicimos anteriormente. Este, las contesté y me salieron, me salieron malas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, las revisé con las que había contestado anteriormente me salen buenas y este pero aquí me salen malas no las acepto ninguna incluso vuelve a salir nuevamente la que la que aparece mala y que iban a revisar vuelve a salir aquí otra vez sí a mí me sale mala todavía no sé por qué lo voy a ser sincera no sé por qué no la he revisado aún pero eso se mandó desde el día que ustedes me dijeron la número 6 me está hablando verdad correcto uh -huh. Sí, me sale todavía mal. Pero es porque afuera tiene las respuestas, entonces creo que ese es el problema. Aunque está mal configurada y afuera tiene el problema. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál otra le sale mal? Eh, son, es que son tres de, de responder. Y ok, pero salen, ¿qué tarea la, es? Es la... Sería la tercera, sería la parte tres. No, pero ¿qué número de tarea? Las tareas tienen un número. No, es que es el intermedio. El intermedio, dicho. Mientras. Aquí están, están ah, los... el, el parcial. Correcto. El parcial. Ok, vamos a ver el parcial. Y lo contesté. Ajá. En el parcial. El parcial tiene cuatro partes. Correcto, ¿Qué parte? en, la en la tercera parte. En la tercera parte, there are store cities. ¿Y cuál es la pregunta que le sale mal? Las primeras tres. There are a store city. Ok. Ajá, mándeme, vaya, como es el parcial, mándeme usted en, el, en una captura de pantalla que, que, que está escribiendo, pero solo a mí. No lo manda el grupo, porque okay. es parcial. Ok. Ok. okay vaya, vamos a pasar a asistencia, chicos. Veamos Ana Mercedes Amaya Corado Present Andrea Laureana Vázquez Martínez Present Carlos Mario Vendaño Peña Present Carlos René Rivas López Present Carmen René Calderón de Vázquez Present uh, Delmi Guadalupe Gómez Landa Verde Present Edgar Gonzalo Chocón Alvarado Present Elsa Merino de Villeda Present. Francisco Nemia Godínez Urquía. Present. Helen Dionelli Barraza de Jerez. Present. José, José Daniel Mineses Bolaños. Present. Kevin Vladimir Gutiérrez Castillo. Present. Teacher. Marlon Balmori Dueña Rodríguez. Mauro Estela Orlante Fernández. Present. Eh, Nelson Domínguez Díaz Salas. Present. Oscar Mauricio Montenegro. Present teacher. Reina Margarita Martínez de Castillo. Present teacher. Luxana Elizabeth Méndez Melara. Present teacher. Rubén de Jesús Campos Gómez. Present teacher. Susana Esmeralda Jiménez Osorio. María Alexandra Arteaga. Diana Carolina Guevara Ortiz. Present. Claudia Carolina Ventura Canales. Ok, ahora vamos a ver. Tenemos el día 9, le corresponde a Francisco Nehemías Godínez Urquilla, quedarse de la actividad. Los otros, si tienen eh, algún problema. Teacher, ¿sí? teacher, yo no podré quedarme, ahorita voy, yo voy con mi mamá para Cajutla. 
no lo sé, Rick, no le creo. Ok, este, <ríe> eh, bueno, entonces queda el espacio abierto para quien se quiera quedar, ok. Si alguien le da algún problema la, la plataforma, o se puede quedar el señor Menezes para verlo de la plataforma, rapidito, ¿te parece? Sí, no hay problema. Bye. Entonces los demás se desconectan, bye bye. Bye bye, bye Francisco. Thank you. Thank you. Ok, ya aquí sí. ya lo estoy viendo en el WhatsApp. There is a store in the city. Esa es la que es el Andrés Buenos Aires. Quiero una consulta, pero todavía no toca el examen, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo no? ¿Ya la semana 2? Ah, ok. Sí, ya toca. El midterm. Hay dos. Salud. <ríe> ok, veamos aquí, señor Meneses. Tenemos eh, la plataforma y usted me manda aquí la información. Vamos si a usted verlo. se fija, son las mismas respuestas, las mismas preguntas y respuestas de la número 6, en donde está el problema. Entonces, eh, yo lo revisé para ver si había escrito algo mal y. y, uh -huh. y son bien parecidas. Vaya, vale, veamos acá. Usted ya me mandó sus respuestas. Le vamos a comparar. Yo voy a escribir exactamente: There is a store in the city. Vamos a poner aquí: There is a store. In the city. Punto. There is one offices in San Miguel. Ayer que pusimos. There are, ¿verdad? There no, are. There, there is sin. There is one office in la S. Ok. There is one office uh -huh. in, in San Miguel. En San, San Miguel, San Michael City. Ok. And y la otra, esa sería there are. There are three distribution centers uh -huh. in Ilopango. Vamos a ver. Ilo, uh -huh. Ilopango. Right. Okay, perfect. Ya las tengo. To ask plural questions we use. Are there, is there. Or not? Is there. Bye. Okay, submit. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. vale. Ahora vamos a hacer una cosa, vamos a cambiar. There are a store in the city. Bueno, le vamos a poner aquí. Pero, pero teacher, si sí, así los escribimos en el, en el anterior y estaban sí. buenos. Sí, correcto. Vamos a ponerle aquí a la señorita Katherine Domínguez que nos ayude. Ahí right. se lo vamos a mandar a ella. ¿Dónde está esa señora? Aquí nos escribió ella temprano. Ahora, la, la tres aquí no sale mala en la seis allá, ¿verdad? Pero aquí ya está escrito correctamente. Uh -huh. Bueno. Si no la vamos a escribir al jefe. Yo solo, no soporto el técnico. Vale, ya le mandé la información a ellos a los que están a cargo de la plataforma, para que los revisen, porque, no sé, yo ya sinceramente no le veo otra opción. Vea, veamos acá otra opción. There are stores in the city. Aunque sí, nosotros le pusimos a There mm -hmm. are stores in the city. There are offices in San Miguel. Vamos a ver así, mire. Nada perdemos con tratar, ¿verdad? Oh, there are offices in San Miguel. There are. Es que este no le hay otra cosa. There is. Three distribution centers. Dejen. O será que distribution. Déjenlo porque dice distribution centers. Será que distribution les pusieron con S. Mire, ve, vean. Con S. Oh. Creo que a veces se cometieron ese error. No, aún así, no, mire. Ajá, está mal. Bye. Entonces, ahorita ya se los mandé a ellos. Ok, ya está aquí en, en, el, en el chat de WhatsApp. Mire, si usted puede ver. Decir que lo, a los otros les va a salir malo también. ¿no? Sí, 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 claro, claro que sí. Les va a salir malo. Vaya, aquí le pongo a usted también evidencia que ya, ya enviamos esto a ella. ¿Verdad? Mire. Uh -huh. Aquí está. Ya se le había enviado anteriormente, ¿no crees que no? <ríe> ¿Verdad? El ejercicio no sale malo. Y aquí igual, el que acabamos de hacer usted y yo. 
aún tenemos el mismo error y se repite en el examen parcial. ¿Verdad? Entonces esperamos que mañana lo hagan. El examen parcial se va a vencer el, el lunes en la noche. Entonces todavía uh -huh. tenemos todavía tenemos tiempo. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Perfecto. ¿Alguna otra pregunta, señor Meneses? Mm, por ¿No? el momento no. Por el momento no. Vale. Cualquier otra cosa me avisa y así seguimos trabajando. ¿Ok? De acuerdo, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Pase linda noche. Bye bye. Good night, teacher.